Ever heard of Thomas the Tank Engine? If you've been around little kids between the ages of two and around seven or so, I'm sure you have. My son adored Thomas so much, he could name every single train on the show. He knew what color they were and the number they had painted on them. I was glad when I heard that he was coming to visit me over the summer, but I had a ton of work to do, so I bought him a Thomas DVD. The cover looked innocent enough. What was also interesting was that Thomas was smiling and little wooden children were waving their arms out of the windows of his coaches. The DVD was called Thomas and the Children. He was so excited to see the DVD that right off the bat, he pleaded with me to pop it into the DVD player. I went to work while he watched it. After a few hours, he came up to my office looking as pale as a sheet. Are you okay? I asked him. I put my hand on his forehead and his tem temperature had completely gone up. Daddy, why did Thomas kill the children? My heart sank like a stone, but I brushed it off. I'm pretty sure Thomas didn't kill the children. Now it's time for some rest and some medicine. I gently pushed him to his room, but after that, I got curious as to what he had seen, so I put the disc in the DVD myself. There was no main menu, unlike most DVDs. This went straight to the episode. Thomas was told to take some children to the seaside by orders of Sir Topham Hatt. I noticed something odd, though. There was no narrator. The children climbed aboard, and Thomas raced down the rails like he always does, and the children were cheering. But up ahead, Bertie the bus was stuck on the tracks, moaning for help. This is where the episode got weird. Bertie stared at Thomas in fear, but the blue tank engine sped up. He laughed, and the kids were crying with tears coming down from their wooden faces. Immediately, Thomas crashed into Bertie, and pieces from both of them were flying everywhere. Usually by now, the narrator would say, and luckily, no one was hurt, but there was no reassurance for the kids. The episode then showed what happened inside the coaches. Wooden limbs were broken off. What looked like actual blood had been splattered everywhere. We see brief shots of their heads ripped off and tears still painted on their faces. Everything went to static. After that, I felt myself boiling over with anger. What sicko would create something that messed up for little kids? Then I paused the static. Messages appeared on the screen saying, Kill, obey, multiply, die. I watched the static more different me messages flashed on the screen, and the bottom one said, R.I.P. Thomas. I threw the accursed thing in the trash after breaking it in half. I would not expose my child to any more of that trash. Before going to bed myself, I checked my son. He was happily asleep and snoring, clutching his teddy bear. I, on the other hand, had nightmares from this. One where the children came into my room, but they were lifelike and as tall as a normal person. Their twisted forms grabbed my limbs and pulled me apart while I heard that blasted train laughing. Now I have woken up, covered in blood, knife in hand, and I'm afraid to check my son's room. I'm warning you, if you find a CD or DVD that had this episode, do not watch it. Just smash it. I'm sick of this DVD and Thomas's horrifying behavior on it. This DVD must be banned. He is pure evil.